Yeah, so I know I don't do these kind of videos, but I do think that this is something that I feel like I can definitely help other girls on because I know I'm from a small town and I'm doing pretty well for myself. Um, so let's start off with this. And yes, I know I do not look the prettiest right now. Um, I just put on a like moisture mask and pretty much heading into bed, but I saw a video I'm like, you know, I feel like this is a good place for me to talk about. Um, obviously you know by the title what it's about. So first thing is, I am, I'm gonna let you know, I'm like the definition of a small town girl. So uh, if you are a small town girl and you're dealing with some of the just like, kind of like, what should I do in this situation? You know, these are kind of those answers. So first thing I definitely did notice with also smaller town men, they like to pretty much act like they want to get to know your family. They want to get to know all your friends, like everything about your life. They can, but don't say anything about your family. And mention friends' names. You can even make fake names up for your friends. This don't really tell them everything about especially your family because your family is your keepsake um and also just for your privacy of your family and a lot of them think oh if i get close to her maybe you know i can get some stuff for free mm -hmm. no and rule number two baby do not have your baby do not um basically be a sip to them. You're in charge, you call the shots. If he wants to, if he's spending a lot of money on you and all of a sudden he just wants to spend a little less, you know, be nice and be like, hey, like, can you send me another tip or something like that? Um, you know, there is, I've had, situations like that and I'm just like you know this is normally not what I do but I can give you a discount um you now if you do it that one time and it's a super super discount never do that ever like ever and always get your money first and always do a full thing of like making sure you know who you're dealing with too because I have a situation lately where he swore his wife wasn't read it in the middle of anything. And the wife wasn't, but it kind of did because it did interrupt, like, like I really haven't talked to that person in like a month because of a wife. And he said, if he says little things that make you seem like, mm, this doesn't seem right. It's not right. Trust me. Just go with your intuition. I'm very intuitive. I know these things. Like, if he really does have that money, he's just going to send it to you just because he has some money. Like, $5,000 isn't anything. Fucking 10000 20 30 50 Once you get to 50 it kind of might be, depending on who you're dealing with, but most part not really um if he wants to buy you something make sure it's in your name make sure you have full ownership of whatever the property is um like for instance i will say like i didn't have good credit so i didn't get a co-signer um but i you know, I pay my car, so, and I mean, at the, that point in my life, you know, I mean, co signer is really all I needed, um, because he would still give me money, so, um, and he honestly, another thing is you have, sometimes they honestly do become good friends of yours, like, I will 100% say that's 100% true, um, I've had people, 
even in a club sort of. I'm just good friends with them because they're nice to me. Um, you know, and sometimes those people in those situations can really help you in life where you don't understand what to do in situations. So, like I had one kind of not really truly help me too much, but he kind of did help me with um, a legal situation that I was trying to, you know, get over. <laughs> um, and it was related to a um, thing from my past. And it was nothing bad, like nothing at all. It was like a car, so, or no apartment, sorry. So, you know, just make sure you really have a wonderful process. Make sure you hold your place. If you guys have any questions, please reach out. And please don't do anything stupid. Like, go meet somebody that you don't know. Don't do that. Trust me. Um, but make sure your safety is always first. And trust me, yes, you can get a lot of money in this thing online. And honestly, a lot of those OnlyFans girls make a lot from just little falls here and there. So, yeah. But, um, that's really the main thing. Is always get your money first. No matter, also if they're being mean, trust me, know which person can be mean. And also if they're asking you, like, um, to live with them or blah 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 no just run <laughs> um just be like no thank you um i won't do this that whatever you look for you do just mention that and yeah but never live with them and another thing is if people are trying i can personally say i have had people assist me and like only fans um, just customs, blah, blah, blah. Um, sometimes that's fine, but make sure you do still have control of everything. Um.